Hey kids, Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now I've been out and bought myself some new toys for the uh, CRF. Um, when the bike comes as standard as stock, it comes with this exhaust system, which looks all very fine, but it sounds a bit wimpy, uh, and there are better things on the market. Not only that, it's very heavy. Um, so in the quest to add a little bit more power, uh, make it sound a bit more like a dirt bike, and also to um, save even more weight, uh, I've gone out and bought myself one of these. All the way from the good old US of A, California in fact, this is the FMF Q4. Um, I've gone for the complete system, so that's the can for the back. And then I've gone for, at the front end, this particular header, which is known as the FMF Mega Bomb. They also make one called a Power Bomb, which has a slightly smaller bulge here. But this is the one that gives you um, more low end power, if that's what you want. What they've done here, the, the whiz kids at FMF, very clever. What they've done is design this particular chamber so that the, um, the way that the exhaust gas flows, it just gives the right amount of back pressure uh, to actually uh, enhance the power. And in fact, uh, some say this gains as much as three or four HP. Now that doesn't sound like much, but on a bike that's only putting out about 30 horsepower, if that, uh, that's a significant gain. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna attempt to do on this video is uh, fit the header, fit the can, uh, and then see how she goes and sounds. Okay, before I do any of that, of course, um, what I'm gonna need to do is just have a quick listen to what she sounds like with the stock can. So let's have a quick listen to that. Okay, very, very quiet on idle. Quite a sweet sound, but, uh, but nothing too outrageous. Which is fine, in some applications, green lanes, etc. In fact, having a quiet exhaust is a good thing. So I'm going to keep that one around in case I want to uh, chop and change. But uh, anyway, that's the little project for today. Uh, stick around, stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do, actually, having looked at the bike, is give it a good clean. Because if you look at the, uh, the, the header there, you can see it's pretty covered in crud from where I've been going around the lanes recently. So I don't want to be starting to take that off uh, and, you know, and risk bits of dirt and stuff falling into the engine. So first job is just go and give the bike a good clean. I'll, I won't show you me doing that. We'll just uh, miraculously use the wonders of video and I'll bring the bike back clean. So there we are, magic of video, one clean bike, or certainly cleaner. Um, so first job then is just to uh, loosen up some of uh, uh, these bolts and uh, maybe remove the old panel. So let's crack on with that. So what we'll do is just loosen things up to start with. Okie dokie, there's that panel. I have a feeling we're gonna need the plastic part. So I'll also uh, undo these uh, to get the white off because we're gonna need that. Okay. Right, so that's everything loose. One more there to undo, one more here. That one we did. It's in the most inaccessible spot in the world. Uh, if we take this panel off as well, I won't be able to get at that one a bit better. There we go. Okay, that's uh, everything nice and loose. I think we can just take her off at that point then. So if we work from the back, like so. Wow, that is heavy compared to the new exhaust. That is noticeably weightier. Okay, see if we can wiggle this off. Come on. She is. Wow, one stock exhaust. Look at that, it's only been on there a couple of weeks. It's absolutely covered in crud. And that really weighs quite a lot. I may weigh them afterwards and just check, see what the difference is. So that's that. Okay, let's get the header off. Two. There she is, one header. I'm just making sure there's no gunk in there. Good, all looks good. Okay, so first things first, let's, uh, let's get the Mega Bomb, get that attached. Okay, so here we are, here's the Mega Bomb. It's gonna go uh, back on there. Hopefully, fairly straightforward fit. Up there, and that through there. That's gonna, gonna look good, I think. And to start with, we're just gonna put everything on very, very loosely. Uh, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, copper grease on the joints just to uh, number one because copper grease is high temperature and it'll just uh, help to seal slightly 
Uh, this is for use on gaskets or so anywhere where things join like this. So I'll just put a little bit of this on to help. Perfect. And while we're doing that, I'll just put a bit on the inside of the pipe that's going to join to as well. Same reasons. To help with the seal. Ideal world, of course, you'd use high temperature silicon in here. But I don't have any of that handy, so we'll see how we get on with this. If I do have any leaks, then I'll just go and get some high temperature silicon. Okay, that's that bit. Excellent. Right, let's just uh, offer this up then. And to start with, it's very loosely attach it because there's going to be a bit of uh, fettling required if you see what I mean okay just finger tight to start with good already looking good okay so with the uh, header loosely positioned in place I'm going to take this which is going to look through there That's We'll just gently pop that there for now. We'll just take the weight of it on here. The original bolt. There we go. Okay, looks great. Right, there's going to be a bit of wiggling around to make sure everything fits as it should. And again, just finger tight at this point. Okay, next one is this. I think we're going to need to just wiggle that a bit more. There we go, that looks better. And that. Nicely in there, good. I have to say, that has gone on there really nice. It's a nicely engineered bit of kit. Nothing touching, no pipes touching that are going to get hot. It's not touching there. We're all good. Okay, so that looks great as far as the position is concerned. I've got to put the covers back, but uh, what I'll do now is tighten all the bolts, starting from the front, uh, and work my way back, tighten them up. Nice. All right, nothing's moving. Good. Nice and solid. All I've got to do now, get the panels back on, and we should be good to go. That clips in there, like so, and then, with my spacer in place, bolt that up there. Okay, not too tight. Perfect. It's not going anywhere. Good. And you'll see, we've already gained some uh, extra decals on the bike. Right, that's looking really good. Right, we just want to put the, uh, the white cover on the back and we're pretty much done. Okay, so I've now had another little look at this, and I reckon, uh, looking at the way this works, and how and the other bits and pieces we've been supplied with, I have to say the instructions aren't great with this. Uh, you've got this bracket here. I assume that bracket should hang on there, and then the plastic, that bolt's on there, I imagine, with the plastic on there. So I'm gonna loosen that one off again. Um, I'm gonna take the black plastic off the white part, uh, and then I think we mount it up there, like so. So let's see if that works. Right, so here we are, this is a bit of uh, Working out as we go along, really. So there's uh, various screws holding that on. Let's just take that off and see what we're left with. See if we can work it out from there. Three. So that's three screws out. It looks like there's some clips. Clip there. Clip there. Is that another screw there or is that a clip? Looks like it might be a screw under there. Or something similar. Let's have a look. Just cut that. Aha, uh -huh. so there's another screw under there. Come on. Okay, let's have a look again. Clips. 
and looks like there might be one more under here. A clip or a screw, not sure what. Right, hopefully now it'll all just come to bits. Hmm, voila. One big black plastic bit. Small black plastic bit. Not sure if I need that or not, we'll find out in a minute. This is the bit I'm really interested in. Okay, good. Reckon that's it. Might be a bit of a challenge getting that one on, but we'll see. Okay, let's get back to the bike, see if we can fit it. Okay, so here we are. Um, and there's the bracket mounted up on the white plastic piece. So I reckon it's going to locate in there and then possibly on that one there. There and there. There we go. And yeah, I can see the holes line up. Actually getting at these is going to be a right game. Um, but yeah, that's going to look pretty neat. That's going to look pretty cool, I think. Excellent. Okay, so now the enigma about how we get at those. Let's give that a whirl. Okay, so I think the first thing I'll do is just loosen these two bolts off here again, just so we can move things around a bit. With that one, I won't. And in fact, this one, we're going to have to take all the way out to get the bracket behind, so... Carefully does it. Might even have to loosen off the bracket itself to get it in there. Again, this is where instructions that actually made some sense, as some diagrams would be handy. But if you're going to do one of these yourself, don't learn like I have, learn from my mistakes. You need to put this bolt in before you attempt to bolt her up and make sure that's the long one as well they provide. In. Stay in, you devil. Good, so they're where they need to be. Looks great, all I've got to do now, tighten those bolts up again, and we're good to go with the test run. There she goes, right. Solid, nothing's moving. Looks good, excellent. Really pleased with how she looks. Let's see how she sounds. Okay, moment of truth, let's, uh, let's see how she sounds. And check for any leaks, most importantly. So nice and quiet uh, when she's just idling, got a little bit of throttle, sounds like she should do. Excellent. Just check for any leaks. Well, <laughs> well, really pleased with that, fantastic. And that is the, that's the Q4 exhaust, that's the quiet one. Although I must say I have taken out the spark arrestor, so uh, if that does prove to be too noisy, I can, I can quieten it down a bit. But uh, no, she sounds great. So uh, all I've got to do now is give it a test ride and see how she goes. But uh, so that's the install. Uh, once the weather improves, there's about three inches of snow outside at the moment. I shall, uh, I'll go out on her uh, and give you a proper before and after comparison. But uh, that's it for now. That's the new exhaust. So I'm really pleased how it looks. She sounds great. Uh, and we just need to check now and see if she has indeed given us a bit more noticeable power. But until next time, this has been the Missenden Flyer. Cheerio.